Boo. Welcome to grade six science, grade six. It is very dark in here because today we are talking about shadows and how we can use shadows to A, find the position of the sun in the night sky and B, tell the time of the day. We do that using the length of shadows. Now, here's what's going on. I have a flashlight. You see it? That is my sun. Obviously, it even looks like a sun in the camera there. That's pretty cool. On my table, I've got a softball with a little tack on the top of it. Okay, basically what I'm gonna do is pretend the earth is rotating, creating a day, and we're gonna see what the sunlight does to the shadows. As the sun is very low on the horizon, right now you can see that tack of the night, but as it comes up, that shadow starts to get a lot longer. That means it's very early in the morning and the sun is coming almost straight across the earth. As the sun rises in the day, you can see the shadows getting smaller and eventually it almost straight disappears as the sun is right overhead. That means it's noon, that's high noon. That's when the sun is at its highest peak and it's more or less coming straight down on the earth. As the day starts to wane, as it starts to go away, you can see the shadow gets longer again until eventually the sun goes too low and we don't have any shadows because we don't have any light. So as you can see, if we have a longer shadow, it means it's earlier or later in the day, dawn or dusk. I'm sure you can imagine yourselves out playing, bike riding, whatever, it's getting late and the sun's going down, the shadows are getting really long, you're like, oh, I better get home before it's dark and I can't find my way. Okay, that's how we tell the time. That's also how sundials work. Now this is gonna be really hard because I've only got two hands. But you can see as my sun is really low, this little marker is making um, a shadow. If I mark where that shadow ends, let's say it's right on the edge of the paper. I'll mark that down. Oh, except I can't, because I've got two hands. <laughs> I'm gonna figure out another way to show you guys sundials. But it's the same principle. I come out first thing in the morning, I see how long that shadow is, I mark it, I come out every couple minutes or every hour after that, I see how the shadow change changes, I mark it on the paper, and then that is how we can use shadows to tell the time. I'll find a better diagram video for you guys to check that one out, um, or I'll just do a second one. Interested to see what happens.